Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery with some leftover paint and a 10 by 10 inch canvas. A little bit of black in there I don't really want. I did a red sky yesterday. I'm going to do some, um, some Amsterdam black little tiny swipes with my new tool, but I want to make sure that you guys know that there's plenty of other ways to do those if you don't have one, and I will make a, I will make a video eventually. So I'm going to use some of my Anita's White Metallic that has a little bit of pink added to it. I think it was actually um, some folk art. No, yes. Uh, it was a neon pink, <laughs> but there wasn't much of it as you can tell. And I keep putting paint onto my canvas top for my skies without putting a layer of paint underneath and then wondering why I don't get coverage all the way to the edge and I'm thinking maybe if I give myself coverage beforehand I might fare better. Sometimes my edges are just easier to do with my fingers than any other way. And my theory is, and that's what the neon pink looks like, my theory is if I spread some paint then the other paint will flow better. I've got an edge catcher and I'm planning on using it. I could probably skip the red paint but I've got it so why not use it. I'm not sure how far it's going to go. I kind of want to put something else in there. You know what? I see something in there that does not belong right now. It needs to come out before I go on. Let's just do this this way. It looks like I'm still going to have more paint left, but we'll find out in a minute. Now I could spread that with a spatula, but my plan wasn't going to be including a spatula. I don't even need that yet. It's very heavy and there are some black things in there. I thought I was just going to dump it all into a painting. I want to put some orange in there, I have to say. Not that one, it's closed. But this one. And fresh paint will always help other paint flow better anyway. It could be a while though. I think I'm going to use it all just so I can get what I need going. Let's just scrape that right out of there. Gloppy though it might be. Oh, I found the black. Okay, so we'll have some storm clouds. <laughs> Maybe this was a bad idea. I guess we'll find out together in a minute. I wanted a whole bunch more pink, but I don't mind the idea of some clouds. Some even some dramatic clouds. Sounds kind of fun to me. My paint is definitely gloppy though. I'm going to rock my edge catcher and move it down. And then I'm going to probably do what I said I was going to contemplate doing and add some pink. Because I like that combination. So I call this going the wrong way first because I want to merge it all into a big puddle before I throw it back again one more time. I'm hoping you can see that. The pattern in the sky is so nice I want to just turn it around and go from the other side. I wonder if I could do that. Let's not and say we did. I'm pretty sure I'll still get something kind of cool. I definitely want to take the paint that's on there off though. And I'm glad I put the pink background on because if I wanted to save it, I could. Now, I thought about what to do about the bottom and I had not enough time yesterday and it still came out really cool but I did a lot of pouncing with my new little tool. 
I like this glop up here for coverage. Put some of it right down the edges also. I'm just going to steal a little bit of that right now. And take my straw and blow into my sky. Now if I want some more pink, I should put it in there. And maybe I do want a little bit more pink. It can pretend to be clouds. And I can blow it around. I do have somewhere here a very small tool I did a moment ago. There it is. That's my little my little swipe tool that I'm in the processes of learning how to use. I don't think using that is going to hurt anything. So Let's take this out of the way for the moment. I see in my dish that I have a bunch of color. And before I go polluting my rinse water with it, I'll just use it. Because I can't see any reason not to. I'm going to put other colors over the top of it and uh, assuming that it's a sunset sky, if we get any repetition of the of the color showing through it'll just be like a reflection off of something almost done so I have enough stuff in my sky that I like I should stop messing with that. <laughs> I should have someone standing beside me going, don't mess with that. Okay, so I grabbed a little bit of Mysterious, a little bit of emerald green color shifting from folk art, a little bit of green gold that's not shaken, but will be in a second. And yesterday when I dabbed in all of this, I had a thought afterwards, an epiphany, you might want to call it, that if I had scraped across and swiped, that I probably would have got, that's supposed to be open. That's not open. I need some, okay, I guess it's right back to the dioxazine purple, which is okay. And take that piece of glop out. A little deco art Americana, 24 karat gold. I think I want some copper too, or copper like. And I think I'm going to cheat and add a little tiny bit of the Amsterdam black that has the um, the wood conditioner, the pre-stained wood conditioner in it. So I'm just going to spread this right across with a palette knife and I may or may not use my little tool. I suspect I probably will. And I'm liking those colors and those shapes and I'm inclined to just redo the ho redo it again. All the same colors and still include a little bit of that and I might put a tree in there I was thinking about it before I'd like to have enough extra paint so that if I had the paint on the blade of my palette knife that I could then 
cover the edges of the canvas. Nice green hillside. I should have put more paint here. I, I guess that's where my big tree is going to go. <laughs> Sorry. I'm foolish sometimes. I'm going to steal some of that paint. And I could always go back later. So this side is covered. This side is not. That is a thing that does not belong. Maybe it's a bubble. Whatever it is, it's coming out now. So I'm going to take and clean off my palette knife right on the edge of the canvas. What I want to do, really and truly, is just show you. I will often put a little bead of paint, put a little more paint, mix those two, dab it. If I could tip this up really quickly like so, you could see. And I'd probably put a little Prussian blue in there if I'd had it open. Darn. So, oh, lots of red paint all over my hand now. I'm going to get that off. Think about my tree. I think what I want to do for the tree is really weird. It'd be really nice I completely lost that. It'd be really nice if I could completely fill that whole area. That's what I was going to say, I think. And I'm going to blow that around for a minute. I was going to put some Amsterdam black in there, but I kind of like it just the way it is. I wonder where my little... Ah, there it is. I'm not sure that this is a good idea or not, but I bet it'll work if it comes out. Here we go. I suspect it'll probably bleed. Come on out. Not really coming out the way I'd like it to at all. That's a little better. Could probably use some copper. So why don't I just try that instead since this is really not working very well. Because it's closed. Okay. <laughs> That's two bottles down. I've got some copper over here. And I think what I'm going to do is put a little bit of it right along the edge. Drag it right up into the tree. If there's some pink throwing, showing through from the background, that'll be okay. Be like the sunset. I still want to blow it out. Oh gosh. I shouldn't. <laughs> I shouldn't, but I want to do something. So what will I do? I will grab a skewer. And see if I can throw a few spirals in there because I like spirals. And I know some of you like spirals too. Okay, so I see something else that needs to get out of the sky. 
Oh, really? Okay. Took a piece of the sky with it when it went. And I have an issue with this area here, so I'm thinking if I can use a bottle of paint that isn't shedding. I was going to swipe that, but I think I'm going to blow on it first because that would be more likely to make clouds. And then I'll just, I mean, it's right fairy tale. I'll use the rat tail in my. There's my little scape. That thing in the sky is still bugging me though. I want a little bit, I want a little bit more pink right where that black is. What's it feel like I want? Yeah, I got more. I got more black out of that than I got pink. Well, I'm gonna throw another cloud in there with a bubble. I got two minutes to tell you guys that I do sell my artwork. And if you need to contact me about it, use the hashtag from the title of the video. And the first blue link is the link tree and underneath that is my email address. So the hashtag and the file number. Kind of don't mind that second, third cloud at all. She said as she annihilated <laughs> some other good stuff. not so sure about the black in the sky in certain places but I think I can camouflage it it'll just be some black mixed in with the clouds I like making clouds with little spirals so that's cute I like that it's got a tree Got a big, big limb over there. I might have to fix that tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going to torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint. Tell you guys thank you for the wonderful comments that keep my morale boosted all the time. And uh, thank you for the donations that help keep me painting all this time. Really appreciate that very much. If I have any red paint around here, I'll be touching up a, a little bit of my top edge or stealing some. Better to not, actually, at this point. All right, so I've got a minute left. Look on the end screen video. The exhibition video will share with you what the monthly prize draw prizes are for the drawing winner of the monthly. <laughs> I wanted to call it something else. There's a drawing every month, and you can see the prizes for it on the exhibition video on the end screens of any video in the last 20 seconds. And if you look for PayPal or Patreon icons on my YouTube channel banner on the bottom right hand corner and you happen to use my preference, which is PayPal, you'll be automatically entered in that drawing. I love you guys. I never use my little tool on the bottom, but I'm okay with that. I might stick my finger in a few of those places that look like they might be gaps. Otherwise, I'm pretty happy with my little scape and I'm thinking about putting it in one of the drawings. You'll see what I, what I feel like. I like my tree though, even, even though I'm risking <laughs> too much working on it upside down. So look on the link tree for Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter.